Hello YouTube, my name is Gauntlet, and welcome back to my World at War game series. We're about 10 hours into day 19. Sorry, I skipped some time. There just hasn't been a whole lot of excitement. Been isolating the Falklands, using my planes to whittle down the defenses, and now I'm sending in the final blow with this stack of units. My invasion of Sao Paulo has begun, just using my basic infantry stacks to overwhelm the defenses with artillery and other units. Canceling production so I can get all those free resources. And shutting off any barracks or naval bases I get. Yep, so this will be done by the end of day 19. And I'll take this one after, because this is a smaller country. So when I take this capital, the capital will boost the morale of all of these provinces. Whereas if I took this one first, and then I took this one, I would only have one capital, this one, boosting the morale of all of this land. Whereas I'd have two over here. But the big news is that I've been in contact with California, and California does not support me getting a solo win. He said no, therefore I cannot allow him to be to my north on my most vulnerable border while I invade Africa and then Eurasia. I cannot allow this major threat. He is the second largest player in the game. And he's a pretty good player too. To be on my border when I'm most vulnerable. Therefore, I'm going to put Operation Pangea on hold. I've been in contact with these players. I'm going to try to get a non aggression pact with them so that I can launch Operation Equator instead, which will be the invasion of North America or mostly California. But I guess I'll clean up these AIs as well. And to prepare for that, again, I'll build my two battle fleets because California is building his own fleet. My battle fleets will also provide great shore bombardment along Mexico. I'll be using mostly infantry because I'll be getting elite artillery soon, so I'll be able to outrange his artillery and I'll pound him to death. And I'll build plenty of anti-air, plenty of anti-tank to counter his planes, which he has a lot of planes and his armored forces, which he likes his armor. So, I'm confident I could beat California, it's just a matter of how fast can I do it, and will Africa uphold their part of the deal. A paratrooper should also come in handy for launching raids, and for raiding his air bases, and maybe even getting this air force onto the ground, which would be really nice. My economy is almost fully maxed out. I can still build industrial complexes in a couple places, probably in these rare provinces, so I can start pumping out rockets, which will also be very helpful in destroying his air force. But I need these rares to improve my army, which is gonna be doing a lot of heavy lifting in the next couple of days. Alright, so day 19 just ended. I was a little late recording this, but basically I sent an ultimatum to these African countries telling them they can either accept my deal which is this or this but this was sent a while ago which makes me think they are ignoring me and waiting to see if I attack California, and they might just attack me if I attack California to get me into a two-front war. And I don't want that to happen, so I'm sending an ultimatum, which means I might do Operation Pangea before Operation Equator, depending on how these countries answer my question. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you on the battlefield.